my name is Watkins. I'm looking for Mr. Fred Sanford. I'm the county building inspector. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, Lamont is the building inspector. Come here, Mr. Watkins. Uh, have a seat right over here. Oh, thank you. Well, exactly what is your complaint, Mr. Sanford? I mean, against your, your neighbor, Mr. Julio Fuentes? It's Julio Fuentes. Oh, yeah, well, what's your complaint against him? My complaint is that I don't want him living next door to me. Well, that's not really a complaint. That sounds personal. Well, let's say then, I personally don't want him living next door to me. <laughs> Mr. Sanford, my department does not deal in personal matters, only complaints. Well, then change it back to complaints. On what grounds? <laughs> On the ground that this place is unfit to live in. Now, how can you say that, Pop? You haven't been over there since Julio moved in. I don't have to go over there. All I have to know is my next door neighbor's living with a goat. <laughs> you talk about the odd couple. Well, you'll see for yourself when you get over there. Well, all right, sir. I'll just have to get over there and check him out. Yeah, check him out and then chunk him out. So can he, can he actually get thrown out? Well, yes, it's possible. We might have to condemn his building and force him out if he's in violation of the building codes. Well, like what, for instance? It's all sorts of violations. Faulty and exposed wiring. That's him. Structural weakness. He got that, too. Unauthorized dumping area. I can see that from here. And, and what about Latin letters? I beg your pardon? Nothing. He's just imagining things. Well, I better get on with my job, sir. Oh, Mr. Sanford, you know, if it weren't for concerned people like you, we wouldn't catch all the violations in this area. We're so understaffed, and I want to thank you for being so conscientious. Well, you see, I didn't want the beauty of my community destroyed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is a nice residential area, and I don't want no cheese factory next door. Well, I don't blame you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you very much. Goodbye. Did you hear what that building inspector said I was? Conscientious. Yeah, and that's not all you are. What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it no more, and I'm going down to the diner to get myself something to eat because I don't want to be in this house any longer. You mean you're going to stay mad because I reported that pest next door? I told you I don't want to discuss it. Now, I'll see you later. I'll tell you why I did it. I did it for you. That's why I did it for you. For me? Yeah. See, this neighborhood can only stand so many junkyards. Now, I ain't going to be around much longer. And I want to make sure that after I'm gone, that you would be the king of all this. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, listen. See, son, you don't appreciate nothing. A lot of sons don't appreciate what their fathers do for them and tell them. Take John D. Rockefeller. Now, he built up a great big business in oil. Did his kid appreciate it? No. He blew it and became a governor. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, John D. Okay, well, go on and see what happened to you when I'm not around to protect you. See, they'll take you apart. Because you're not a fighter like me. Lamont, look what I got, man. A building inspector was just here and he gave it to me. Man, I wasn't expecting anything like this. Now, look, Julio, I'm sorry. And I don't want you to be mad because... Mad? I... Why should I be mad? Man, I'm proud. Yeah. Mr. Stanford, he said you sent him over. And he gave me a citation for doing such a good job fixing up my place, man. Hey, Pop, he's right. Look at this. A citation for neighborhood improvement from the Board of Supervisors, Building Department, County of Los Angeles. The owner of this property has contributed to the betterment of his community by renovating, restoring, and generally improving his home area, and has thereby earned the appreciation of the city and county. Oh, man. And he said, because you was nice enough to send him to me, will I be nice enough to give this to you? Yeah, one for you, one for you. <laughs> That's chévere, man. I like that. Good neighbors do come in all colors. Hey, Lamont, read mine for me. I can't see without my glasses. OK. Board of Supervisors, Building and Safety, Los Angeles, California. Dear Mr. Sanford, you will be fined $200 if the following violations are not corrected within 10 days. Faulty and exposed wiring, structural damage, unnecessary litter, numerous fire hazards, unauthorized dumping area, sidewalk obstruction, dangerous and inflammable material. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with this place. This place got a strong foundation. No faulty wiring. You couldn't find a better place and there's nowhere in the world. 